Hi folks and welcome to this video which is looking at animatronic and robotic toys that appeared at the New York Toy Fair 2023. As Toy Fair was held in October rather than in February as it used to be, a lot of the robotic and animatronic toys that were shown there have been out for a while and I've actually already bought them, unboxed them and done reviews of them on this channel. So this video won't be refer referring to Bitsy or the new Furby or the Little Live Pets My Puppy's Home as though those appeared at Toy Fair, I've already covered them on this channel and I've already covered Doggy and the Chatterback Chopper. The first robot that was shown at Toy Fair that's going to be covered in this video is Kai, the Artificial Intelligence Robot by Thames and Cosmos. And I'm really interested in this one. So this is an educational robot. The whole point of it is to actually learn something okay. from both constructing it and then using it right so you assemble it yourself then yes you do and the videos for assembly that i've watched on youtube are brilliant i could follow it yeah you know I've, we've never bought anything other than something really really basic so it's, it's that i could actually build so it's for over 12s i can see on the box so it's not not too easy it's maybe not too easy suitable yeah. for adults as well yes and um, for adults who haven't got any prior sort of construction yeah um knowledge or ability so sort of bridging that gap between the ultra basic and far too complicated yeah is this the one that comes with a good manual as well yes that's one of the things i really like about it yes i remember that bit yeah. because we've said before it's a pity manuals are just online now and you never get like a nice manual but it's got 64 Colour yeah, manual. I think that's so important with something that's uh, educational to have a good manual to it. Yeah, yeah, something we miss now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So the robot itself, I don't think the robot itself actually has any sensors or anything. Because what you do is you use your phone. Right, okay. So you so use your phone's camera. So you're using a smartphone then? Yes. With a camera, yeah. Yes, I mean, that's how they've kept the price down yeah because I, I, did, I did notice it's it's very toy like in its construction isn't it even though yes. it's quite uh quite good looking and moves quite well it's still very toy like rather than model like yes you can see all the parts there i think there's a hundred parts all together mm. so take quite a bit of construction i mean that that's one of the main parts of the enjoyment isn't it, it is i can see also that they've got the gears laid out in that picture and they color coded aren't they oh brilliant yeah for uh, assembling yeah. the gearbox which is yeah. uh, something quite unusual to be able to get to assemble a gearbox that's right i mean we have had things before like we had a snake by the science museum and everything was hidden that's right yeah it you, was mm -hmm. supposed to be to construct but and, it wasn't and to construct and learn and you, yeah you learned nothing about gears gear no. and gearboxes because it was all pre pre-made yes so this is priced on amazon at 99.99 dollars 99. okay and i think it's worth it yeah uh, from what I saw at uh, Toy Show, I thought it was worth it as well, yeah. And what you actually do with this robot, once you've constructed it, is educational as well, because it's showing the basis of how AI learns, because you get it to learn gestures. Yeah, yeah. So you give gestures and verbal commands, and it learns to respond to those. That's right, but all you've got, we've got to say again, all that is offloaded onto the smartphone, isn't yes. it? Yes. Which makes it cheap. Mm. So the second robot I'm going to talk about is Miko. So this is kind of like a cheaper version of Moxie that came out a couple of years ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Moxie's about thousand dollars. Wow, that's so, so expensive. Yes. And Miko, I think, is $250. Okay. Um, some people have asked me to buy this and review it, but 
it's out my price range at the moment. Is this something where all the uh, the artificial intelligence is on the device? Like, I believe so. Rather than on your phone? Yes, I believe so. It's basically like a kid's companion. So a kid's supposed to be able to talk to it. But I don't know exactly how good the the language ability is on it. Because when I saw Moxie, it seemed to fall down a bit, you know, when yeah, people yeah. asked it questions. This it, is it the toy to show. Quite... I've seen videos on it as well of people right, who've got right. it. And it seems quite sort of narrow, mm -hmm. you know, what it can talk about. So the next thing that I saw is a lot cheaper. Oh, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> a lot droidables. Cheaper. Droidables as in collectibles sort of thing, is it? I suppose so. Yeah. Well, the droids. Yeah. Uh, these don't actually move, but they respond to you moving them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you move the head, they have various sounds, which are, if you get R R two D two, it's the sounds that it makes. Or chopper. Or chopper. Yeah. Yeah. Or BB eight. I particularly like the R two D two. Yeah, I like sound the sounds. Yeah. Brilliant. It's so distinctive R two D two sounds, aren't they? Yeah. Now, these aren't actually out yet. I think they are available at Walmart, but nowhere else at the moment. They're not available on Amazon yet. Okay. So I'm not sure exactly how much they're going to be. I think Walmart's been selling them for about $18, something like that. Okay, so they're more of a stocking filler price. They are. Yeah. They also have lights as well. They all have lights. Yeah, yeah. And they're quite small, aren't they? They're about two or three inches tall. Four inches, I Four believe. inches. That's, that, that's what makes them quite cheap as well, isn't the size mm -hmm. of them? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to getting the chopper and the R2-D2. Okay. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the Kids Robotics Motorised Robot Hand. Now, this hasn't just come out. This has been around for quite a few years, but... It was shown at Toy Fair, yeah, and I'd never seen it before. It was shown this year, then twenty twenty. Yes, it was. Right. Uh, I don't know if they show the same thing every year, kids robotics, but I hadn't seen this before, and I really liked this. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good as well. In fact, I've already ordered this, mm -hmm. so when it arrives, we'll be putting it together. Okay and doing a video on it right so basically it's another educational toy yeah, one of these stem kits yeah yes so you, you assemble yourself yes it's very very simple but that's why it's good i like it because you can see exactly how it's working so here are all the components that you use to put it together to assemble yeah, it quite a few though and like the kind robot that we talked about earlier you actually assemble the gears yourself okay which i think is really good so basically it's a hand that taps its fingers and it's all based on me mechanical action and mechanical programming because the wheel that, that you can see there on the screen, that sort of turns. Driven around slowly by a motor and gearbox, isn't it? Yes. And then you put these little um, tabs in there to operate uh, the fingers. And you can position, move the position of the tab so you can get the fingers to move in different patterns. Yes. And uh, I think it's really good how it's it's demonstrating principle of using like mechanical programming i.e yeah, sliding yeah. the sliders to different positions mm -hmm. to get a different effect from the model. yeah you can really mm. see how it's working i really like that because in a lot of toys that we've looked at they, they partially use mechanical programming don't they yeah if you take them apart you can see the uh, mechanical programming mechanisms inside them yeah because they usually do it so they can use one motor to move multiple parts. That's and it's right, like yeah. done for cheapness. Yeah. And that's available on Amazon for $18.99. So 
the cheaper end. And the final thing I'm going to talk about that was shown at Toy Fair are the brand new Zuzu Pets. So these won't be available until spring next year, but they look fabulous. Yeah, so this is a nostalgic sort of uh, re... Um, Relaunch. Re Relaunch, yes. But this time it's called Zuzu Aquarium and they are all sea creatures. Yeah, it was a fantastic idea, that. I think so, to yeah. To make all the tubes uh, sort of clear plastic blue to um, sort of simulate underwater. Brilliant. I really like the, the, the little characters that they've made as well. Uh, because this this one that you can see on the screen, it's a dolphin, mm -hmm. and they actually had it like making dolphin sounds, mm. which I mm. thought was brilliant. I think there's twelve altogether. I'm not quite sure, uh, but I think there's twelve. Um, we've got a shark and an orca, pufferfish, and my personal favourite, the clownfish, angelfish. And I like how they've sort of not made them with... They're not gaudy. Yeah. You know, they haven't got big glittery eyes. Mm. Like, I, I don't really don't like this sort of new styling mm. around a, a lot of kids' they toys. They all, all sort of styling, really, haven't they? The sort of uh, yeah. embroidered eyes. And uh... and if you, if you turn them upside down, they look the same as well. So it looks like they... Oh, they'll fit the old track then. It looks like... That yes, and it looks like they still read track. Read the uh, yeah the data off the the certain track segments uh, that have the bumps and lumps on yeah. Mm. I love this here. It, it, there's like a little boat that they go into and they come <laughs> off the track and they go on this boat and then yeah. they drive the boat across the floor. Yeah. It's hilarious. So looking forward to those becoming available next spring. Yeah. I think the Zuzu pets themselves are going to be nine dollars ninety nine. Yeah. And I think the play sets are going to be around about nineteen dollars ninety nine. I'm sure I saw that somewhere okay. on a sepia site. So, folks, that about wraps it up for this video, looking at new animatronic and robotic toys shown at Toy Fair this year. I hope you found that useful to some degree. Thanks for watching as always and hope to see you next time.